Hi everyone, today I want to share with you my design team project for Diamond Dice and as usual I will have all the links to Diamond Dice in the description box below as well as a coupon code or some information about the coupon code that I have for you and I created a mini album this time and I will show you the dice first I use this die to create the mini album with and it's the Mason Canning Jar mini album die and I absolutely loved working with this beautiful big die and I also used the small die, the Mason Canning Jar die and it's this one right here and I used this to create some tags and I also used this die set and it is the Dinormous Stackham's Scalloped Circles Nesting die set and there's 10 dies in this set so I used this one as well and I also used this one right here and it's the Nature's Flourish die absolutely love this die as well and I also used this die set right here the Monarch Butterfly and this is the small die set there's also a larger one available and I also used the mini must-haves and I used this flower to create some roses with and of course I had to use this die set, the realistic rose die set and I created some flowers with these as well so I also used this paper stack it's the Kirby Teasdale paper stack and it was gifted to me by my sweet friend Rena Myers when we did our swap thank you so much Rena and uh, all the laces and trims that I used and the flowers that I didn't uh, handmade myself are all from Lavish Laces so this is the mini album and I will try to keep it not too close to the camera I have some seam binding on the spine and I have a flower in the center and I also used some shabby rosette trim and I created some hinges and I sandwiched them between uh, the two pages I cut out the mason jar twice out of craft cardstock because I didn't want to make the mini album too heavy so it's like an accordion style and this is the back side I absolutely love this sheet of the paper line and I went over all the papers with some gesso to tone the colors down a bit and here's the top of the mason jar and I have some seam binding and a flower from my stash and here's a big crochet flower that I made and some more flowers from my stash and here's the beautiful nature's flourish die and this is a wooden frame from my stash and this pops out and can be used as a photo mat and here's the beautiful monarch butterfly with a small rose in the center so this is the cover and here's the first page and I absolutely love this paper line and I have a chrysanthemum from my stash with a flat back pearl in the center and here I have a crochet doily that I made and a crochet flower that I made on top and this is a carnation flower from my stash and some uh, rose buds and here's some lace and some flat back pearl trim and on the hinges I also used some lace to decorate them and I created this envelope oops let me open it up I used some I used some velcro and I have a flat back pearl and some lace and I used my we are memory keepers envelope punch board to create this envelope and I have a small photo mat inside the envelope and here oops here's the velcro and here we have the next page and some more seam binding and flower from my stash and here are the tags that I created with the small mason jar die and I covered the back side with some paper as well and these can be used as photo mats or spots for journaling and here's the other tag and I'm sorry for the lighting it's a cloudy day here so I had to use some artificial light as well and I used my punch to create this pocket and here's the beautiful monarch butterfly and I created these roses with the die sets 
the realistic rose die set. And here is the Nature's Flourish die. And underneath this handmade flower, there's a shabby rosette. And onto the next page, I use the scalloped circle die underneath this doily. And this is a paper doily from my stash. And a shabby uh, bow from the bow trim and a gardenia. And oops, <laughs> here's the next page with some more seam binding. And I created two more tags with the mason jar die, the smaller one. And I have some lace and some flat back pearl trim on top. And here's the other tag with some baker's twine. And here's what the page looks like without the tags, with another pocket and some more lace. And here's another monarch butterfly with a pearl in the center. And here's another handmade rose. And here's one as well. And I absolutely love creating my own flowers or roses with the roses die set. And here's another flower from my stash with a flat back pearl. And this is a doily a crochet doily that I made and I folded it in half and I have a flat back pearl in the center and here's the next page with another cluster of flowers and they're all from my stash and I popped out the center and I adhered a flat back pearl and I have some rose buds here and a paper doily from my stash and on top I have a rosette and a crochet doily that I made and some baker's twine and a flat back pearl. So this is a beautiful photo mat. And here's the next page with some more seam binding and another pocket. And this is another handmade rose that I created and here's another one. And some more flowers from my stash and here's the nature's flourish die i absolutely love to tuck these behind my clusters of flowers and i created two more tags with the mason jar die i absolutely love this butterfly and the other tag and Here's the other page with another bow and flower from my stash and I use the scalloped circle die again behind this paper doily and I created another photo mat. It's a pretty simple mini album but I absolutely love how it turned out. And here's the last page and I have another envelope and another handmade flower. And I used a smaller flower in the center. I have three flowers and I created kind of a rosebud. And I have three of the bigger roses underneath or flowers underneath. So it's not too dimensional. And I have some jute twine. Oh no, it's some baker's twine, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I have a crochet doily that I made underneath. And a flower from my stash. And here's the Nature's Flourish die. And inside the envelope there's another, oops, another photo mat or spot for journaling. And I also used some Velcro here. So this is the last page and the back side. And here's the spine again and the front side. So I really enjoyed creating this mini album. And I hope you like my mini album as well. I will have some pictures at the end of this video. And I will have all the information to Diamond Dice in the description box below. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are all having a wonderful week and enjoying your summer. And I will be back soon with another project. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.